Hello everyone, thanks for joining me here in my studio. And in addition to my written review of the Guru Gear Uinta backpack, I wanted to make this short video to show you some of the, the, the main features of the bag and also how it compares to some of Guru Gear's other bags. Now I've been using a Batafly uh, 26L, also from Guru Gear, and I've also reviewed it on my website. Uh, a great bag, you can see how they compare to each other in terms of uh, size. The, Uinta is a little taller, the butterfly is a little shorter, a little bit wider. Uh, and also uh, from the side, you can see that the butterfly is a little deeper, whereas the Uinta has a little bit more of a, of a, of a profile to look to it. Um, in general, I still think that the butterfly is, is more of a dedicated photo backpack, whereas the Uinta uh, allows for more versatility depending on what you want to do with it, where you're going, etc. Um, st uh, still a great bag and still my go-to bag when I'm going out strictly for doing uh, photography and, and kind of nothing else. The Uinta uh, has some more versatility built into it. The fact that you can add and remove the modules inside depending on what you want to carry, uh, which gives you a lot more uh, configuration options. Now one of the main features is this tripod hydration pack holder. So there's a pocket here that allows you to put a hydration pack for water, or you can use it as I do to carry a tripod. And when you get to your destination, it's very easy to uh, undo this, this pocket, get your tripod out. And then you have access to uh, the main uh, front pocket here, which allows you to carry things like uh, uh, notebook and pencils and, and whatnot. I also use a Guru Gear, et cetera, pack to carry some filters. Uh, uh, memory cards, etc. There's another zippered pocket here, keychain holder. So uh, nice pocket here. Also all of the zippers on the Uinta are weather sealed, which is another nice uh, little feature. And then there's another pocket here, which gives you access to the main compartment where the uh, medium module is. Now you wouldn't access your camera from this side, there's a pocket on the other side for that. But either way, let's say you didn't have the module in here, then you can get access to the top compartment. Plus also there is a laptop sleeve here where you can carry obviously a laptop or uh, a tablet, etc. So more versatility built into this side. When you're done shooting and you're ready to get back on the trail, you can put your tripod in and with these two clips here, you're ready to go again. Now on the back side of the bag, this is where you really access uh, your, your gear, your camera gear. Uh, this again, as I mentioned, on the top is where I have the medium pro module with a full size DSLR, a couple of lenses and some other things here. But the nice thing is that this module can be removed so you can pull this module out, giving you the whole top of the bag as just a place to keep other things, for example, uh, clothing and food and whatnot. So when you're out, uh, at least for me, when I'm out teaching workshops or with the family, um, it gives me a place to store things that aren't necessarily photographic uh, gear, but uh, stuff that I might need out on the trail wherever I happen to be uh, in a city or what have you. Um, here's another zippered pocket on this side. And again, these are all weather sealed zippers. All right, and then on the bottom here is the uh, the other uh, module, the, s the small pro module, where uh, at this moment I'm keeping uh, an Olympus um, uh, mirrorless camera, but it's great for keeping either another lens or what have you, or if you have a smaller mirrorless camera type system, I, I, I have in here the Olympus with about four lenses. So it's, it's uh, uh, great for small systems like that. There's another pocket here, separate pocket. And again, the... Uh, Access is really the key thing here. So I can put this bag down wherever I am and get access to my gear uh, really easily. Uh, there's a mesh back here, which goes on your back and keeps you nice and cool uh, and dry, hopefully. And also uh, the, the, the harness is really comfortable. I really enjoy that as well. It's well designed, it's well built. It's, it's comfortable, but at the same time supportive. And most importantly, when you're carrying any type of uh, gear, you wanna have a really nice, strong, uh, waist strap that puts the weight on your hips where it belongs and uh, and then the shoulder strap just kind of keeps everything balanced so again really nice balanced um, feels great feels comfortable on the trail um, i've had uh, no problems using at all so so that's a quick look at the uh, uinta um, hope that helps hope that gives you a sense of the differences and similarities between the different bags and also a sense of whether you think this bag might be appropriate for you, but uh, and for my purposes, it's a, it's a, I highly recommend the bag. It, it um, 
It works great, well designed, and um, and that's about it. Any questions or comments or feedback, uh, leave them on the blog. I'd be more than happy to to answer. Uh, thanks for watching.